treks a few miles once a week from her small village to the nearest town to gather weekly supplies for her and her family. Along the way, the road runs along the jungle's edge, a place to tread with only the highest awareness. One day, on the way back home, with her bundle of supplies, she hears a rustle at the jungle's edge. A rustle that fades into stripes, then into two tigers that emerge from the jungle. They take either side of her and begin to catch up quick. In her only defense, she throws her bundle of supplies at them and dashes into the jungle. Charging into the jungle, she runs hard, using the trees and bush to create distance. Running so hard, she breaks out of the jungle's line. Out of the trees, to face her only escape, a single vine hanging over a cliff's edge. She rushes down the vine as the tigers catch her with a swipe to the head. She scales the vine just out of reach. Warm blood runs down her face. Breathing so hard, she feels she's going to suffocate. Just then, she hears a rustle below her as a third tiger breaks out of the jungle. Right beneath her, just out of reach. The vine begins to break under her weight and she starts to cry. Tears and blood run down her face. Panting, breathing, crying so hard, she feels she's gonna suffocate. Just then, out of a crevice in the cliff's wall right in front of her, she sees a small green plant. Growing from it are tiny red strawberries. And she stops. She stops crying. She stops fighting. She stops denying her life. She accepts who she is and where she is. And in that moment, she is alive. In that moment, she is holy. She reaches out, she takes a strawberry, she eats it, and it is the most delicious strawberry in the world.